This is how the reef at Fish Eel Point looks like. Fish Eel Point is a place north of Tanga, it's at the Tanzanian coast. Part of this is filled with beautiful coral, colorful fish and other more interesting marine life. However, a large part has sadly been destroyed due to detrimental fishing techniques such as dynamite fishing. Dynamite fishing has had the most destructive impact on the reef at Fish Eel Point. Fishermen drop dynamite into the ocean, killing anything in the vicinity of 5 meters. Craters of dead corals are left behind. After diving there in 2019, a group of students decided to take action. Wanting to regenerate the coral, they started by building coral nursery tables and setting these in the oceans at around 4 meter depth. This idea has now turned into the Coral Regeneration Project, which has been running for three years now, operating on both Moshi and Arusha campus, with a total of over 40 students involved. We aim to restore and conserve coral and marine life at Fish Eagle Point. At school, we meet for one hour each week to research, plan, design and build structures which we will place into the ocean during reefs outer pursuit trips, which are organized by our school. Over 100 students get involved on a total of 7 trips per school year. After obtaining the Paddy Open Water Diver Certificate on one of the trips, we mostly do service dives. On the service dives, we plant corals onto the nurseries, clean the coral nurseries, submerge coral domes into the sea and transplant mature coral onto these domes and other structures. Small bits of coral are broken off the baby corals on the nurseries and planted as new ones as coral grows up to 40 times faster when it's in a broken fragment. Meanwhile, we create an artificial reef by placing concrete domes at around 14 meter depth. These domes weigh between 300 kg and 800 kg depending on their size. They provide a safe shelter for marine life and over time we plant coral onto them which will eventually grow around the entire dome. The same species of coral is planted onto one dome and when fragments meet they recognize their own DNA and merge and grow as one. We currently have submerged over 30 domes at three different spots in the ocean and have 22 more sitting at the beach waiting to be moved out on the next trips. Another structure we built was an A-frame. We submerged this in the ocean during the level 5 trip. We have started planting corals onto it, hoping to create a coral dive through cave in the future. The main challenge is currently that the coral nursery tables are not working out too well. We are currently building new nursery structures and hope to install these in March and May 2023. Over time, we will expand the nursery so that we can farm more coral at the same time. In September this year, two of the student leaders went to visit a university short course on Maziwa Island, a protected island few hours south of Fish Eagle Point. Coral conservation has been going on there for over a decade, and the progress they have made is astonishing. We are hopeful that when we come to visit Fish Eagle Point in 10 years or so, or any time past their graduation, the coral reef at Fish Eagle Point will look a lot more similar to the one on Maziwa Island. We are confident that this project will continue beyond our graduation and make a significant difference over the next few years.